I'm going to start off doing manual inspection with a bolt hole probe. Uh, this is a 200 kilohertz bolt hole. It uh, covers a range of diameters uh, and has a certain length. It's just got a simple absolute uh, core sitting in the end. Uh, so much so that we can just demonstrate it by plugging it in. And if we go, we call the 200 kilohertz setting. Press balance. That's lift off. If I go and do the old trick with the lift off thing, and, okay. and then we have our defect responses. So we'll just leave it kind of like that. Uh, lift offs, so in that direction might be, might be worth freshening it up. Pretty good. And that's our smallest notch. Um, I've got standard rotary probe test piece here. Uh, the concept is that you use the uh, collar to hold the probe in one fixed place and then uh, scan the hole. It's hugely difficult. Of the defect response coming up there, because we know all the other stuff is handling noise. I mean, you can probably make it a bit better by going here and maybe even taking more of the x axis gain out. So we unlock this again. Up to here, maybe reduce this as much as we dare. And, and that's the response from the that's a clean hole. Little smiley face. And maybe if I Okay, so that's manual hole inspection. It's pretty difficult, uh, and ideally you should do four or five rotations around the hole at different depths to ensure that you find the defects in the hole. Probably takes you, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes a hole. However, there was an easier solution, and that is to use a rotary drive. Now, I have a variety of probes here, a very small one, a medium size one, these need to match the whole size. You can get compliant ones, these are available in various sizes. This is a very big one for doing a very large hole. Uh, we'll just take the intermediate size one, uh, line up the red dot with the red dot. Type the probe in. Type the probe in. Uh, recall 
rotary setting. And split screen here is default. Um, this now spins at 3000 RPM. Uh, let's bounce just a. This is a clean hole, and this is a hole with a deeper dive that phase it upside down. So set the auto phase to 25% um, of the screen height. Uh, activate the function. Uh, go to the sample with the hole in it. Press balance. And now it's set the phase vertically. So that's the hole. Now it's an awful lot easier than doing a manual inspection, although and there are various modes here we can go and demonstrate display modes so you can uh, go into panes and now that sets pane with a lot of icon because that's the default position. And if we go here we can do stuff like uh, I was going to make, make this one time base and go to so, switch time base off and oops, clear the screen down and now you've got a very large display x, y, or alternatively we can go down to this item here and I'll show you that in a second, x, y, we can freeze it, switch the motor off. Um, and then time base and then just for good measure although not recommended we can actually run XY in this mode as well and it will read out the peak amplitude.